Yeah, so today uh, we will try to learn something more with respect to the Excel functions, which we have been doing since last quite a days. Uh, so um, today we'll start with the if function. <laughs> if function is a very prominent function in Excel and uh, it is basically used to check whether a condition is met, a condition is satisfied or not. Okay. So here uh, we have this data sheet with us. So we, we will be doing all our uh, respective or upcoming exercise based on this sheet only. So have a close look, look at it. So it contains like name of the team and the uh, country of origin. These are the basically football teams and whether they, these teams played Champions Leagues or not. And uh, how many games they have played. And finally, the points earned out of it. So uh, what we have to do, <clears throat> we have to check certain conditions. For example, in this, what we can do, we can check whether a team, uh, whether a team is part, uh, whether a team is participated in Champions League or not. Okay, and I'll show you how functions actually work. You can do it in here. Is equals to if this is the function which would be using. So uh, this is the function. Look at it here. What does this if function told us tell us is that check whether a condition has been met or returns one value if true and another value if false. So it will try to find out whether if our condition is satisfied, it, the result that this function will give us would be like correct. And if it's not, it would give us a false result. So what we have to do, we have to use the uh, I'll run a function first, then I'll tell you. The first, uh, the first point which we have to give uh, to this function is logical test. So what is logical test here is, we want to check whether, uh, whether a team played Champions League or not. So what we will do, we will select this function, uh, which is D4 which tells us, uh, uh, which consists of the cell containing the Champions League point. And uh, then what we have to do, this is our logical test. And uh, <clears throat> we have to show to the Excel that put IS function or simply, do. wait a minute, let me do it first. The run a function. T4 is equals to yes, and then sorry, F where points aren't. Let the check this zero for absolute results. Yeah, huh. so now I'll try to explain it to you. So, this is the function we run. So in this is if function, we want to find out whether a team played Champions League or not. And then if it plays a champions, uh, if, uh, if the team was a part of Champions League, then what, what we have to do, we have to uh, calculate its points, points earned out of it. See, so, uh, uh, so what we did in this test, first we put in the logical test, wherein we clicked on the Champions League tab, wherein we uh, told 
excel that if the team was a part of uh, if the team was part of uh, champions league it should give us the answer in yes our first logical test was this and uh, uh, the second part of it was if the uh, if uh, the number of points earned if they played in the champions league so it gives us the result like this and if the team is not was not uh, the part of uh, champions league then it would give us the false result so you can easily see it so this uh, we do when we have to you know uh, when we have to find when we have to find certain data out of what we have uh, uh, out of full overloaded data for us we will try to learn it little further or uh, little basic also wait this yeah it would make more sense so uh, there we will learn three functions like sum sum if and sum ifs so sum when we use sum sum is very basic when we have to add uh, the whole range of data provided to us we will use the sum function the very basic formula of sum is is equals to and just put the function sum and then we have to select the range of data where our data is based and hit enter so it will show the number of games played by the uh, total numbers of games played for and then we can do it for this also total number of points earned by earned during a league or total number of points earned okay so this is very basic like only sum and we use sum if when we have to put certain conditions conditions into our, our data for example in this data uh, what we have to find out we have to find out that uh, how many points are earned by italy or the number of games played by the italy we can do anything out of this so what we have to do we have to use a formula we will put the is equals to sign okay and then we will use sum if so sum if function is there and then what we have to go we have to select the range so we have to find it for italy na so where would this italy lies this it to be lies in this range of cells okay german neatly and all this so this is the range we have to select and i selected this range and and now what we have to do we have to put a criteria what is our criteria we have to find out italy out of it so what we will do as i have written italy in here so i'll just click on in here otherwise we can uh, we can okay i'll i'm not i'm not going to tell you this right now but okay i click this criteria i have put in and then what we have to do we have to click on the sum range okay and what is sum range out here is we are finding the number of game played by the italy so this is our range where the numbers of game are given okay i will close this and i will hit enter so see here Uh, is it clear to you yes sir ha huh. so what we have to do uh, what i have done in here is i have uh, we have to find out that how many games uh, how many games were played by the team italy so i choose uh, the function sim sum if and then i select the range where the name of countries are given and then i put the criteria what we are intended to search and then games played okay for example if you want to change it to like instead of game change uh, instead of game played we want to know the points earned by this team by this team so i'll hit it hit the enter okay wait a minute yeah so these are the points and so we'll select this and hit enter so points earned by italy are 
so uh, this is for like uh, if we have to satisfy only one uh, one condition out of it okay or one criteria and uh, what if we have multiple criterias with us so we will try to learn it in here only so in this what we are intended to find out we are intended to find out how many points english team england team okay which participated in champions league earned so there are three functions in here so first of all we have to search for the team which is england second one is whether they participated in champions league or not this one and the third one is number of points earned by the companies or uh, by the team okay so uh, simple we will run this function sum ifs this is the function we would run first of all we will go for the range so all the ifs or specifically sum ifs work in the reciprocal manner wherein we would have to put our points first some range what we are intended to find out the points earned by this team so we will consider this range first and then put a comma now what we have to do we have to find the we have to select the criteria range you can see it now which the the highlighted part of it the formula criteria range range so criteria range is we, we are intended to find out the country so country would consist in here we will select this range and what is our criteria first our criteria is the country should be england okay and uh, the next range which we have to select we have to find whether this team played for england or uh, in champions league or not then so we will select this portion champions league comma and then we will put the another criteria and what what, are, what is our uh, the other criteria for us is like whether they played in champions league or not so we will select yes okay and then we will close this dialog box so we will hit enter see this is the result so this is the result this result is for like uh, it is showing 143 are the number of points earned by english team which participated in champions league okay so it does not include this liverpool group which does not which was not part of a champions league so it all, only includes the team which played champions league okay i hope is it makes some sense to you is it yes sir let me explain na ha kaun sa fir se ha yahi hai na so so uh, hum uh, some if use tab karte hain jab we have to put in a lot a more than one criteria okay so isme kya hai isme humko ye find out karna hai कि कंट्री वो टीम्स को हमको निकालना है इंग्लैंड की टीम जिसने चैंपियंस लीग में पार्ट लिया हो उनको कितना पॉइंट्स मिला हाउ मेनी पॉइंट्स दे अर्न ओके सो फर्स्ट थिंग फर्स्ट थिंग व्हाट वी हैव टू डू वी हैव टू पुट दिस फॉर्मूला विद सम इफ्स ओके एंड देन फर्स्टली व्हाट वी हैव टू डू वी हैव टू सी द सम रेंज ओके सम रेंज इज like what we are intended to find out so we are we are intended to find out the points earned by the team so we will select this part points earned okay we will give it a comma and then we will try to we will try to put in our first first criteria what is our first criteria our criteria is we have to find the country name which is england only so we are intended to find out the uh teams which are based in england only so what will you do first we will we will uh, we will take this these cells and then we will put a comma and then we will click on the england our range is this okay first range is this and our criteria is england and then we will put a comma again and we'll 
uh, we will give it another criteria and our criteria is this whether they were part of champions league or not and our oh sorry this is our range and then this is our criteria only teams which have played in champions league should be included okay and then we will hit the enter and we will find out the results now it's better yes sir yeah Uh, okay. Hmm. So I have shared some sheets with you. Do you have these sheets with you? No, sir. You haven't got anything. Any one of you got any anything? I mean, I shared one to these highlighted sheets with. the professor of your college so that she can share it with you so you didn't got anything tell me anyone 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 no sir okay no sir okay okay i'll see into it no a problem ha huh. so the third so we learned if function and then sum if and uh, the third one is count if how to use count ifs wait a minute to hum count if padhte hain hmm so this is simply count count means number of times a thing is appearing okay so for example uh, because you know since this is a very small sheet you can easily you can easily have an idea how many count of numbers are there but if you are, you are uh, i mean when we are dealing with long range of data it would be really difficult for us to find out this so what we have to we have a very special function with us is equals to count c o u n t sorry count function so we will hit this and we will hit the enter so it shows number number of times it occurred for example number of cells containing the data for us so it is 9 okay so the count function works only see okay if i'll select these two rows okay now oh, wait a minute i'll put count and i'll select these two range so what should be the result it should be 18 na 19 9 times yes or no or 9 times this but it is showing only 9 because count only deals with the number it does not include the empty cell it would not include the empty cells or the cells with uh, cells which have alphabets in it okay so for that what we have to do we have a different function to do it we use count a this is the function if now if i'll select these rows and i would hit the enter i would get the result like 18 so in this 18 there are 19 numbers are there and 19 alphabets or characters are there and for example if it is like c hmm wait a minute yeah okay and uh, then um, if we we'll move forward so it would be like count if and count if 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 there is a if in any any formula so it shows that there are certain conditions which need to be fulfilled okay right uh so what we have to do in this count to satisfy one it is basically used for one or uh, more conditions so in this uh, in this exercise what what we are intended to do is we have to find out how many teams earned more than 60 points so these are the points earned by different by different teams so we have to find out um, we have to find out the teams which have scored more than 60 points okay so we will use the function 
count if okay now what this dialog box is showing we have to select the range what would be the range for us this is the range okay now put a comma now we have to set criteria for our our analysis so there can be like different criteria based on what you are intended to do okay so first of all we will uh, put a inverted commas into it and then we will what we are supposed to do here here we have to find out the team which have scored more than 60 uh which have earned more than 60 points okay i'll close this and i'll hit enter so uh, yeah we got the results so there are six teams which have earned more than 60 points is it okay yes sir yeah so you know when, i mean it is like uh, bit by bit it, it is you know uh, the difficulty level is increasing so i won't be uh, i i am not in a position to help you until unless you want to speak or you want ask me to repeat or you want say anything out of it okay so i i would appreciate if uh, if you just told me that whether uh, you got it or you want me to repeat it or you want me to change certain things out of, into the slide matlab into the excel sheet for example if you want me to you know uh, manipulate it like uh, you you want to see the data which are uh the teams which have scored less than 50 for example so you can do it i mean it is pretty simple count if okay we'll select the range this is the range okay and then we have to select the criteria okay for example if we want to see the teams which have earned like exactly 90 so what we have to do i will do is equals to 90 okay we will close this and we will hit so see there is only one team which have scored the 90 so based on your intentions or what you are supposed to find out you can any time uh, uh, change your this part criteria part okay now it's making sense to you yes sir ha huh. and uh, same with the case same is the case uh, with the count if so if there are like multiple criteria criteria which has to be used which have to be satisfied so we have we will go with the count if function so in this what we can do we can find out that how many teams earn more than 60% oh sorry more than 60 points or more than 50 points and played in champions league 2 okay so we we have uh, made it like a little more complicated so we will try to find it out using count ifs function count ifs function okay because there are more than one condition which needs to be followed okay so the first 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 thing which we have, we have to you know very closely look into this part what excel is asking us to do so as excel i give a function maine ek function diya excel ko ki i need count ifs where i have different criteria to be fulfilled so excel ne mujhko bola ki you should give the criteria range what is your criteria range so what would be our criteria range in this hmm our criteria range would be champions league kyunki humko kya dekhna hai wo wo uh, teams dekhni hai jinhone 60 se zyada point earn kiye ho aur और क्या हो उनके पास उन्होंने चैंपियंस लीग में भी पार्ट लिया हो तो मेन हमारे लिए क्या है कि चैंपियंस लीग वेदर दे वर पार्ट ऑफ चैंपियंस लीग और नॉट ओके सो दिस इज वी सेलेक्ट द क्राइटेरिया रेंज सेलेक्टेड वी विल पुट अ कॉमा एंड देन इट इज आस्किंग अस फॉर द क्राइटेरिया फर्स्ट व्हाट इज योर क्राइटेरिया इसमें मैं क्या सर्च करूं एक्चुअली इज आस्किंग अस सो हमको क्या बताना है इनको हमको इनको अपना क्राइटेरिया बताना है और हमारा क्राइटेरिया क्या है वो ये कह रहा है कि वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट यस वाली टीम जिनका जिनका यस है ओके वो टीम्स जो 
पार्ट थी चैंपियंस लीग की तो वी विल पुट यस विल गिव इट अ कॉमा एंड देन अगेन इट इज आस्किंग फॉर द सेकंड क्राइटेरिया एंड व्हाट इज आवर सेकंड क्राइटेरिया एनीवन नो वन ओके पॉइंट्स अर्न इज आवर सेकंड क्राइटेरिया so we will select this range we have selected the range now points and and what was what we were supposed to find out is the teams which earn like uh, more than like for example 50 we'll do 50 in here more than 50 points okay does it make sense i'll hit the enter and you will see the result so there are five teams five teams are there who have is who have earned more than 50 points and played champions league is it too boring or what you got it na or you want me to repeat it or any any questions you want to ask based on it okay i'll so sorry to interrupt you हाँ हाँ प्लीज गो एड वुड प्लीज रिपीट द प्रीवियस पॉइंट जस्ट द प्रीवियस पॉइंट ऑफ क्राइटेरिया लास्ट क्राइटेरिया यू यू वांट मी टू रिपीट दिस क्राइटेरिया सो ओके मैं बहुत आसान भाषा में समझाता हूँ हमको इसमें करना है क्या है हमको इसमें दो चीज दो क्राइटेरिया वी हैव टू फॉलो फर्स्ट थिंग फर्स्ट वॉट वी हैव टू डू वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द पॉइंट अर्न हमको वो पचास से ज्यादा किस किस के पॉइंट्स हैं वो पता करने हैं लेकिन सिर्फ ये पता नहीं करना है बल्कि हमको उसके साथ ये भी पता करना है सिर्फ हमको उन टीम का पॉइंट्स पता करने हैं जिन्होंने चैंपियंस लीग में पार्ट लिया है ओके तो इसमें दो कंडीशन हो गए तो दो कंडीशन के लिए हम काउंट इफ्स का फंक्शन यूज करेंगे ठीक है और आई रिपीट इट फॉर यू पूरा ही मैं डिलीट करता हूँ एक बार और देख लो तो आराम से करता हूँ ठीक है इज इक्वल्स टू दिस सो पहली चीज हमको इसमें क्या करनी है काउंट इफ्स का फंक्शन लगाना है ठीक है ये देखो काउंट इफ्स का फंक्शन लगा इट इज क्लियर अब हमसे सबसे पहले ये मांग रहा है व्हाट इज योर क्राइटेरिया रेंज वो व्हाट इज योर क्राइटेरिया ठीक है उसकी रेंज क्या है हमारी तो हमारी क्राइटेरिया रेंज क्या है कि हमको सबसे पहले ये देखना है कि टीम्स पार्ट होना चाहिए चैंपियंस लीग की तो हमने ये रेंज इसकी सेलेक्ट कर दी ठीक है क्राइटेरिया रेंज हमारी सेलेक्ट हो गई अब हम इसमें अपना क्राइटेरिया पुट करेंगे हमारा क्राइटेरिया क्या है कि टीम शुड बी शुड हैव प्लेड द चैंपियंस लीग अगर हमको नहीं का निकालना होता वी विल हैव टू पुट नो ठीक है ये हमारा एक एक हमारा क्राइटेरिया सेट हो गया कि हमको क्या है कितने पॉइंट्स मिल रहे हैं टीम को जो चैंपियंस लीग का पार्ट रही है ये निकालना है कंट्री के हिसाब से ठीक है नाउ वॉट वी हैव टू डू वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द पॉइंट ऑफ दिस टीम So we will select the criteria range two. This part. And what is our criteria range is like this. जहाँ पे हमारे ये points दिए हुए हैं. ठीक है? Now we'll put the comma, and it would show the criteria two. What is our criteria two? Criteria two is the team which have scored more than sixty or fifty or whatever your you are intended to find out. and we will close this bracket and we will hit the enter and the answer would be like four so there are four teams which have scored more than 60 points while playing in the champions league so it does not include the teams which which are not part of the champions league तो नाउ अगेन अ वेरी बेसिक फंक्शन इन एक्सेल इज एवरेज एवरेज इज लाइक मोस्ट शॉर्ट थिंग इन एक्सेल व्हिच वी आर इंटेंडेड टू फाइंड आउट सो एवरेज इज लाइक फाइंडिंग द मीन अरिथमेटिक मीन ऑफ द ऑफ द डेटा so for example if we want if we are intended to find out the 
these are the games played by different teams and we want to find out what is the average a team what, what uh, how many games on an average played by an individual team so what will we will do we will put the formula for average okay simple very simple this is the mean and then these are our number now we will select the range close it and hit the enter so these are the numbers 36.66 is the number are the number of matches played by on an average played by an individual team okay same goes with the uh, with this also points earned average you can calculate the average yeah so 70.77 are the number of uh, points earned by individual teams on an average okay and uh, so we will try to move uh, there is one more formula in it average if we would use if whenever uh, whenever we we have to put certain conditions in it okay so for average if we can also put a condition i would try to write quotients here also from the next time so that you can have a better sense of it okay so we are intended to find average points okay earned by teams while participating while participating in champions league so now we have put a criteria here what is our criteria criteria is uh, we, we are intended to find out the average points earned by teams while practice, uh, participating in cl agar simply humko kisi ka uh, average nikalna tha to humne dikhaya ki kaise simple bas hum average ka function use karenge aur we will hit the enter aur result aa jayega ab agar kuch condition hai to what we have to do we will go fit average if function okay now we have to select the range range is what is this we have to find out the champions league point so our range would be whether the team was part of champions league or not this is this would be our range okay then we will go with criteria what is our criteria whether it was part of champions league yes or no so yes would be our criteria got it and then number of points earned is the ultimate thing which you want to know so this is the point earned function we'll close it and hit the function so the average is 70.2 uh, for the teams which have participated in champions league got it i hope yes, it's not sir. it's not messing up in your into your minds I, that is why i don't want to you know be like very fast in doing these things i want to match with your pace so if uh, if we want to you know instead of points earned if we want to know the games played so we can select this also we'll hit enter so these are the number of games average number of games played 36.4 for the teams which were the part of champions league okay this is a simple exercise now we'll move forward towards learning the text function very basic part of excel this is the macros yeah so sometimes our text uh, when we copy paste it sometimes our text would be like this only so uh, this is some spanish or german i don't know the language but it is like scribbled and we have to make certain sense out of it so we have some functions to use it like left right and mid you can see in here these are the function so if we use the left left so this will ask us the text where is the where is your text so i i'll show it that this is my text okay and uh, it want it want me to uh, uh, it want me to enter that okay, how many numbers or characters i want to take out of it so i i click four on not a, you can do it anything so uh, this will this would include ye include karega hamare char 
डिजिट को इनिशियल से ठीक है लेफ्ट पार्ट ऑफ आर डेटा सेट एंड फॉर राइट आल्सो वी कैन डू इट सिंपल आर आई जी एच टी राइट फंक्शन इट वुड आस्क अस पुट योर टेक्स्ट यू विल एंटर आर टेक्स्ट दिस इज आर टेक्स्ट एंड दिस इज आर नंबर ऑफ करेक्टर्स वी वॉन्ट लाइक फ्रॉम फिफ्थ सो दीज लास्ट फिफ्थ लास्ट फाइव करेक्टर्स वुड बी आर रिजल्ट and we can do it like mid also if we want some mid term results so this is our, uh, this is our text uh, now here is one additional thing which is asking is start number from where we want to start we want to start from like fourth character and how many characters we need like six characters i need i'll close and i'll hit enter so after four character from here till six characters it is showing us this okay this is very basic function in excel same goes with the uh, upper lower and proper okay so yeah mm, we can use is equals to upper what where is our text this is our text we'll close and hit the enter so all our all the uh, the contents of the cell cell converted into the upper case same is with the lower case l o w lower and we will click here enter see all our data converted into the lower case and if we want to uh, make it proper shape we can use proper proper is like uh, first alphabet would be in uh, caps and the remaining word uh, remaining one would be in the small characters okay so this we generally use when uh, when you know when you will try to copy some data from pdf files and uh, your data is not appropriate then you will try to make it more readable in the sense uh, so you you have to do these sort of formatting and uh, and and we'll see how to use it so yeah if we want to you know add to a data of two different cells in it we can use this function uh, simply we can use this okay and then and function and this function hit enter your uh, data would be like a merged in a single cell this is very basic i have given exercise to you but unfortunately it's not with you right now and uh, then again a very simple basic thing i'm going to teach you is like minimum or maximum which we have to use more frequently if you know if you are calculating the number of marks is scored by student or something like this this so if uh, i want to to know that what are the number of uh, maximum number of games played by a team so i'll write is equals to and max and this is our range of data i'll hit enter so yeah to so maximum are the 38 maximum is 38 so uh, a team uh, a team can play a maximum number of games are 38 and same is with the point and so i'll just drag it down and to see that 90 are the highest points earned by the Team. okay and uh, same goes with the lower uh, minimum sorry this is the minimum we will arrange and we will try to find out the minimum number of games played by a team and minimum points earned by the team this is very simple i hope you got it and uh, then uh, one important Round is like this is also very basic. This is also very basic. This is a round function. We can use it. For example, is equals to. We'll just hit the round. You know, sometimes sometimes our data is like in in different format, but we have to change it. So this is. Give me a minute. 
Yeah, sorry for keeping you on hold for a minute. Yeah. So, so okay, where were? So there are uh, there are times when we need to round our data like uh, this is in decimal and we don't want to have it in decimal or something so we can do it round and then number our number is this and comma number of digits we want after is like zero we don't want any digits after this number we'll hit the enter so it would be like zero so you can play with this functions at your own pace uh, last thing for today's discussion last but not the least obviously is this we look up we look up and h look up okay so uh, we look up is basically used uh, when we have to drag out some data out of one sheet to the other one so uh, these are the things which we are doing since like uh, since the class has started this data and if you know if we want to put this data in here how we have to do it this i would show you okay so these are the team name lazio and brosia see these are the team name and what we don't know about it is like we have to put is country champions league whether played or not or games played or points and or yeah this data we need to put it in here okay so for this we have a very special function which is called we look up okay so we look up is like uh, we look up mein humko ye uh, nikalna hai data is wali sheet se yes ha 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 theek hai us pe bhai happy anniversary hai baba aur kya likhi to uh, this is we look up ओके हेलो यू देयर ना नॉट आई एम नॉट अन न्यू न्यू ट्रेड समथिंग एनी वन ऑफ यू कैन रिस्पॉन्ड यस सर दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट यू नो आई आई वांट योर फुल अटेंशन ओके सो हमको इसमें क्या करना होता है हमको इसमें वैल्यूज को दूसरी शीट से या दूसरे डेटा से इसमें ट्रांसफर करना होता है उसके लिए हम वी लुकअप यूज करते हैं द फंक्शन इज वी लुकअप ओके वी लुकअप इज द फंक्शन तो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल व्हाट वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द वी लुक अप वैल्यू हमको कौन सी वैल्यू पता करनी है कौन सी वैल्यू पता करनी है को? हमको इसमें बताओ कंट्री पता करना है ना या कुछ और पता करना है नहीं पता कंट्री ही मान लेते हैं हम अभी इसमें ओके एंड देन व्हाट वी हैव टू डू वी हैव टू लुक फॉर द टेबल एरे एंड दिस इज आर टेबल एरे दिस इज आर टेबल ओ हो हो वेट अ मिनट कंट्री हमको नहीं पता करना है यहाँ पे हमको पता करना है दिस टीम सॉरी आई गॉट लॉस्ट या आई रन इट फर्स्ट एंड देन कॉलम इंडेक्स नंबर वी हैव टू फाइंड फर्स्ट सेकंड कॉलम इंडेक्स नंबर सेकंड और ट्रू और फॉल्स या या सो लेट्स यूज इटली हाँ अब मैं तुमको बताता हूँ क्या है ये जो so, uh, हमको uh, हमको uh, ये टीम का नाम दिया हुआ है उसके बाद की हमको सारी इन्फॉर्मेशन उधर के शीट से निकालनी है ठीक है तो हमको सबसे पहले निकालना है कंट्री किस कंट्री का लेज्यू पार्ट है विदाउट लाइक डायरेक्टली कॉपिंग एंड पेस्टिंग इट टू इट सो सबसे पहले हमको क्या करना होगा ठीक है मैं इसको मिटाई दो तुम्हारे वैसे साथ ही करते हैं सबसे पहले हमको क्या करना है वी लुकअप डालना है और लुकअप वैल्यू व्हाट वी आर सपोज टू लुक इज द हमको लेज्यू ढूंढना है कि लेज्यू किस कंट्री की टीम है ठीक है तो ये हमारी लुकअप वैल्यू हो गई दूसरी चीज क्या है हमको टेबल टेबल एरे सेलेक्ट करना है कि किस में से हमको ये वैल्यू चाहिए किस टेबल में ये लेज्यू है तो लेज्यू इसमें है ना ये देखो ये है तो हमको ये होल टेबल सेलेक्ट करनी है ये टेबल हमारी सेलेक्ट हो गई ठीक है कॉमा 
अब हमको कॉलम इंडेक्स नंबर तो जो हमको इन्फॉर्मेशन चाहिए यहाँ पे वो क्या चाहिए कंट्री तो कंट्री का कॉलम का इंडेक्स का नंबर कौन सा है तो फर्स्ट कॉलम क्या है हमारा टीम और सेकंड क्या है कंट्री तो हमारा कॉलम इंडेक्स नंबर क्या हो जाएगा दो सेकंड ओके एंड देन यहां पे दो तरीके के मैच होते हैं तो ट्रू होता है विच इज लाइक अप्रोक्सीमेट मैच मतलब अगर आसपास का मिलता जुलता है वो भी उसको ले लेगा और फॉल्स होता है एग्जैक्ट मैच तो हमको चाहिए एग्जैक्ट मैच तो हम एग्जैक्ट मैच डाल देंगे और हिट एंटर करेंगे तो यहाँ पे कंट्री का नाम आ जाएगा कैन यू सेट इज इट गुड आई मीन यू फॉलोइंग इट ये सर हाँ ठीक है तो अब अगर हम इसको ड्रैग करके इधर देख रहे हैं तो अच्छा इसने लगा दिया गया मेरे हिसाब से ठीक है तो हम यहाँ पे डॉलर साइन लगा के इसको फिक्स कर देंगे रेफरेंस को ठीक है और देन विल ट्राई टू हिट इट नॉट रन इट लेस यू एटली चैंपियंस लीग हाँ अब स्टिल नॉट हाँ दिस इज गुड नॉट अवेलेबल पॉइंट आर नॉट अवेलेबल या सो स्टिल आर डेटा इज नॉट शोइंग द प्रॉपर रिजल्ट बिकॉज व्हाट इट इज डूइंग व्हाट इट इज डूइंग इट इज यू नो चेंजिंग आर सेल रेफरेंसेस सी ओके सो वॉट वी हैव टू डू बिकॉज यू नो कंट्री कहाँ पे था हमारा ये देखो कंट्री हमारा सेकेंड पोजिशन पे था आई टोल्ड यू नो कंट्री हमारा सेकेंड पोजिशन पे था वो हमने कर लिया अब चैंपियंस लीग हमारा थर्ड पोजिशन पे है बट यहाँ पे स्टिल हमारा अभी भी वो सेकेंड पोजिशन पे दिखा रहा है तो वॉट विल डू विल क्लिक ऑन थर्ड हेयर इटली कैसे आया यहाँ पे यू गॉट इट ना यस और नो यस हाँ अब विल लुक हाउ वी कैन गेट दिस डेटा सो वी विल पुट वी लुक अप ठीक है वॉट इज द लुक अप वैल्यू फॉर फॉर एस नाउ अगेन लेज यू ओके वॉट वुड द टेबल एरे टेबल एरे वुड बी दिस अगेन ठीक है और उसके बाद हमको क्या कॉलम इंडेक्स नंबर सो टीम नंबर वन कंट्री नंबर टू एंड चैंपियंस लीग इज ऑन नंबर थ्री तो विल क्लिक ऑन थ्री ठीक है वी वांट अ ट्रू मैच दिस इज आर ट्रू मैच आई विल हिट एंटर सो यू कैन सी द रिजल्ट्स इट इज नॉट पार्ट ऑफ चैंपियंस लीग सो वी गॉट अ आंसर नो and now we have to see uh, how many games it has played is equals to veloka i'll just make it clear what we have to search lesio okay comma table table array we have to find this this is our table array column index number is 1 2 3 4 games played is on 4 so this is 4 in here कंप्लीट मैच एंड दीज आर द रिजल्ट थर्टी एट यू गॉट इट राइट नाउ ना डज इट मेक सेंस टू यू नाउ यस या सो दिस वे वी कैन डू इट जस्ट गिव मे मिनट या 
so h look up uh, will try to uh, the basic the basic difference between v look up and h look up is like uh, v look up is for horizontal cells and this is oh, uh, v look up is for vertical cells and this is for horizontal cells so see our data is data here is changed okay so we will try to find out team country champions league and this data okay so i'll just write h look up okay again the same h look up where i now forget hmm. is equals to h h look up we have to find out the team okay again the same thing uh table table array we have to select this is our table this is atom by atom this is our table array theek okay? hai and uh, again the same uh, wahan pe column index number tha yahan pe row index number hai so what would be the our uh, uh, row index number kya hoga what we are intend to do find country na first second okay like this two true match will it see uh, milan is in uh, country wise it is in italy and you can do it for others also i am actually running out of time i need to go somewhere today yeah so this is how it works uh, i mean it uh, all depends upon the kind of practice you do it so uh, i'll share you i'll share with you this 1 2 3 4 5 uh, these are the five exercise for you so what you have to do you will just try to run uh, the analysis uh, with the, uh, at your own pace and try to you know find out uh, whether you are able to do it or not so if in case you are unable to do it or you are facing any problem out of it then we can we will discuss specifically if you find anything any problem out in the in the data uh, analysis part if uh, it is good uh, i mean you got your sufficient time to uh, prepare it then we can leave it like this only and we will continue uh, tomorrow from the same uh, from the uh, for upcoming sessions also upcoming topics theek hai Also, yeah. So I'll share. Uh, I'll share the exercise file with you, and uh, you do it. I mean, uh, it would be like one week times for you to uh, run this analysis. Uh, so try to uh, learn it. If you also, if you if you find any difficulty uh, understanding any uh, any formula or any part of it, just let me know, and then we will discuss. Otherwise, we will proceed further. Okay. Thank you. ठीक है क्या नहीं क्लोज इट यस सर ठीक है ओके बाय बाय टेक केयर ना